Hello, welcome again to this channel. Today we are focusing on numbers, but we are going to look at more complex and mixed words for numbers in different states as numericals, cardinals, ordinals, fractions, decimals, percentage, and calculations. You are all welcome. Karibuni sana. Numbers in Swahili are treated like other adjectives. They come at the end of the adjective, but before the demonstrative. Only units 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 8 take agreements with the noun they describe. Other numbers don't take agreements. Moja always takes singular agreements, while Willy and upwards take plural agreements. As we learned in previous video about numbers, the tens are sent in this manner. Kumi means 10, Ishirini is 20, Thelathini is 30, Arubaini is 40, Hamsini is 50, Sitini is 60, Sabini is 70, Themanini is 80, Tisini is 90. The units following all these tens are added as with the tens, that is by inserting the word na, followed by the appropriate unit. Those which take agreements are given appropriate concord. For example, thelathini na mbili means 32, watu hamsini na watatu, it means 53 people. Although three is tatu, but when you refer to people, you add wa. Instead of saying watu hamsini na tatu, you say watu hamsini na watatu. We'll see more when we come to look at nouns and adjectives and verbs in the future videos. So when referring to chairs, like 71 chairs, in Swahili you say viti sabini na kimoja. Not viti sabini na moja, but viti sabini na kimoja. When giving several hundreds, agreements of the unit numbers are as for noun class. Miatatu means 300, elfumbili means 2000. When giving a number consisting of hundreds, tens and units, the word na is used only once and will occur between the last two words, for example, miatatu arobaini na tano, 345, miasaba sitini na saba, 767. Na in Swahili means end in English. So it's the same as you pronounce the numbers in English and in Swahili. But there's no units in other numbers such as mia sita na thilathini, 630, or mia moja na tatu, 103. It is common to hear mbili for two, but this is used only when counting abstractly. Example, mikate miwili means two loaves. You cannot say mikate mbili. It is mikate miwili. Miezi sita, six months. Viti kumi na kimoja, eleven years. You have to say viti kumi na ki. Ki is referring to viti. So kimoja is one. So it is kiti. Eleven years means viti kumi na kimoja. You cannot say viti kumi na moja. Miaka mitano hii, these five years. Vikombe ishirini vinatosha, 20 cups are enough. So these are examples of numbers that you can have in Swahili. Others you have to refer to the word which is, which is spoken here and there are uh, kind of agreements in numbers and words. Watoto kumi na wanane, 18 children. So even in this case for children, you cannot say watoto kumi na nane. You say watoto kumi na wanane. 
on numerals and cardinals examples, 12 means kumi na mbili, 27 is ishirini na saba, 33 is thelathini na tatu, 99 tisini na tisa, 11 and 111 mia moja kumi na moja, 123 mia moja ishirini na tatu, 321 mia tatu ishirini na moja, 657 mia sita hamsini na saba. So these are numbers in the way they are pronounced in Swahili. We have other numbers. 999,999, 1,046 is 11,421 is 11,4,328,000 in Kiswahili is 11,8,888. 2001 is elfumbili na moja. 700, 5062 in Kiswahili is elfusaba miatano sitini na mbili. 9700 in Kiswahili is elfutisa na miasaba. 123 708 and 240 in Kiswahili is milioni mia moja ishirini na tatu la kisaba themanini na miambili arubaini. Milioni mia moja ishirini na tatu la kisaba themanini na miambili arubaini. 3,220 in Kiswahili is milioni tatu lakimbili na elfu ishirini. Milioni tatu lakimbili na elfu ishirini. When using a number containing thousands, the word na, which means end in English, is never used between thousands and hundreds. Even though no tens or units may follow, but it will precede tens or units. For example, 1320 in Kiswahili means elfu moja miatatu na ishirini. So the word na is used between number 320 but not in thousands. 204091 it is elfu mbili tisini na moja. So, the word na is used between number 90 and 1. You cannot say elfu mbili na mianne like 2,490. No, it's elfu mbili mianne tisini na moja. 4,050 is elfu nne na hamsini. So there's no hundred here and no thousand between na. Because there's no hundred, so after four thousand, you add the word na. Six thousand and sixty-five. Elfusita sitini natano. Five thousand and seven hundred is elfutano miasaba. Elftano miasaba. Here there's no word na. The word moja is generally used after mia and elfu when appropriate, though it may occasionally be omitted. So, for example, you have like 1,000 or 1,000. In Kiswahili, it's elfu moja. When you say a thousand is elfu, the sentence is incomplete. But when you say it's elfu moja, that is when it is completed. When going into tens of thousands, 
certain steps are taken to avoid confusion. They are contrary to normal rules. If hundreds, tens, or units follow the tens of thousands, then the number of thousands will take its normal place after the word elfu. For example, elfu kumi na nane miambili na kumi. It means in English is 8,210. If you say elfu kumi na nane in Swahili, sometimes may be mistaken for 1,018. So in order to avoid possible confusion, one can put the number of thousands before the word elf. So instead of saying elf kumi na nane, you can say kumi na nane elf. Instead of saying elf kumi na nane, you can say kumi na nane elf. And 1018 is elf moja kumi na nane. Because these can be mistakenly or confused. So uh, you may say kumi na nane elf for 18,000 and you can say elf moja kumi na nane for 1,018. Fractions. Only halves, thirds and quarters in, in Swahili have their own words. Nusu means half, theluthi is third, robo is quarter. These are nouns class, so agreements follow accordingly. Thelothimbili means two thirds. Robotatu means three quarters. These are added to a whole number and are separated by the word na and they do not affect the whole number. Example, efumoja miambili thelathini na nne na nusu. It means 1,234 and a half. Other fractions are made up using the word sehemu, meaning part or portion of. For example, one may say sehemu moja ya nane, meaning one eighth, or sehemu saba za nane, meaning seven eighths. On decimals and percentages. For decimals, there's a word for a point or dot in Swahili, which is nukta. But the word nukta is rarely used. So instead, the English word point, which is pronounced pointy in Swahili, is used. This is the word which is has been learned from English. So, for example, you may see a number like kuminatisa pointitatu ne moja saba, meaning 19.3417. This can also be said like kuminatisa nukta instead of saying point tatu ne moja saba, but the word nukta is rarely used. So it is always uh, pronounced as pointy. On percentages, two words are used to show percentage. It is either a number followed with the word kwamia or the word asilimia starts and is followed by a number. We have two examples here. Number one is 50% where you can say hamsini kwamia. O, number two is also 50%. You can say asilimia hamsini. So hamsini kwa mia or asilimia hamsini, they, uh, they have the same meaning in, in Swahili. So hamsini kwa mia, it means, it, when, you, when you want to translate it, not for more translation in English, it means uh, 50 over 100. And in mathematics, uh, ongeza or jumlisha, it means plus or add. So when you are calculati calculating, you can say ongeza or jumlisha, meaning you plus or add a number. When you want to say minus or subtract, 
it is toa o kutoa mara o zidisha is times o multiply by so when you want to say multiply by in swahili you may use the word mara o zidisha for example 2 times 2 or 2 multiply by 2 gawanya o gawa kwa it means divide by sawa sawa na in swahili means equal to in english we have an example here like 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 in swahili you can say moja jumlisha moja sawa sawa na mbili o moja ongeza moja sawa sawa na mbili 2 times 2 is equal to 4 o 2 multiply by 2 is equal to 4 In Kiswahili you may say mbili mara mbili sawa sawa na nne. Mbili mara mbili sawa sawa na nne o mbili zidisha mara mbili sawa sawa na nne. 4 divide by 2 is equal to 2. In Swahili you can say nne gawa kwa mbili sawa sawa na mbili nne gawa kwa mbili o nne gawanya kwa mbili sawa sawa na mbili 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 o 5 subtract 2 is equal to 3 in swahili you can say 5 toa 2 sawa sawa na 3 5 toa 2 sawa sawa na 3 when you want to say total in swahili it is jumla so when you add different numbers maybe 5 plus 3 plus 2 is equal to 10 you may say 5 eh, jumlisha 2 jumlisha 3 sawa sawa na 10 so the total is it means jumla ni on ordinals we have words like a uh, kwanza a kwanza is the, the prefix of the word for example when you say mtoto wa kwanza kuzaliwa mtoto wa kwanza kuzaliwa in swahili it means firstborn you cannot say mtoto wa moja or one the, the, it is the first so first is kwanza mtoto wa kwanza kuzaliwa is the firstborn second it means a pili example msimu wa pili meaning second season third a tatu example mara ya tatu it means third time so the th these ordinals follows like you mention in numbers and the word fourth for example fourth means ne you may say gorofa gorofa ya nne it means fourth floor gorofa ya nne is fifth fourth floor fifth is tano sixth is a uh, sita seventh a uh, saba it means ah it means ya or wa eighth is anane like maybe mtoto wa nane or gorofa ya nane ninth is a tisa Tenth is for kumi. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. Please don't miss other videos in this channel.